Welcome to Electro Online. Now let's take a look at this example with the, when we're dealing with the total cost. The cost, of course, including the fixed cost and the variable cost. So here we have a small fast food restaurant that serves burgers and the fixed cost is $300 per day for the rent, for the employees' wages, for the, the electricity, the gas, all the utilities, the water, everything else you have to pay for on a daily basis, $300 per day. And then there's the variable cost, the food, the, the cost you have to pay for the food that is needed to make the hamburgers. So that's the variable cost and it costs $1.50 per burger to make a hamburger. Find the equation representing the daily cost, graph the equation, and find the total cost when 500 burgers are served. So here again, we have the equation where the total cost is equal to the fixed cost plus the variable cost, and that's where they're defined. And we're going to let x equal the number of burgers served, the number of burgers made. So that means in this case that c as a function of x, the cost as a function of the number of burgers served, is equal to the fixed cost plus the variable cost, and the variable cost can be defined as the cost per unit times the number of units. Again, we use the term unit as a very general term. In this case, the number of units are going to represent the number of burgers. And so we can then write that the total cost is going to be the fixed cost, which is $300, 300, plus the cost per unit, which is 150, times the number of units, which can be represented by x. And so here we have the equation that represents the well, the equation that represents the total cost for making X number of hamburgers. So how would we graph that? Again, we compare that to the equation Y equals MX plus B, where M is the slope and B is the intercept. In this case, B is 300 and M is 1.5. So let's find 300 on the graph. So there's the fixed cost, 300. That's how much we would have to pay even if no burgers were served that day. But then we have increased cost due to the number of burgers served. You can see that the slope is 1.5, so the slope goes up like this as the number of burgers served increases. And then, of course, at some point, you will have reached the number of 500 burgers, and that means that the total cost, and let me make this a little bit taller, there we go, and you can see that the total cost will be right here. And so we have to figure out what that right here is based upon the number of burgers being 500. So the number of burgers being 500 will give us a cost relative to that, which is equal to, and you know what? I should have probably written it like this. Even though this is perfectly correct that I wrote, I prefer to write it like this. C when X equals 500, it just makes it more clear. We understand what we're doing here. X takes on the value of 500 and X represents the number of burgers served instead of just plopping in the 500. So it's equal to 300 plus 1.5 times x, which is 500. And so the total cost when x equals 500 is 300 plus 500 times this, which is 750. And so that would be 1150 for when x equals 500. There we go. And that means that the, the cost when x equals 500 can then be written in terms of dollars. It would be $1,150, and that would be the cost of producing 500 burgers in our little fast food restaurant, and that is how it's done.